Okay, in this video, let's talk about 0 divided by 0 because I think it deserves more attention just like 0 to the 0's power. And this is going to be my take and we are not going to talk about limits in this video, so please do not tell me it's indeterminate, right? So, with all that being said, check this out. I think one of the first things that people will tell you is that 0 over 0 is just equal to any number that you want. Why? Well, because if you look at 0, this is equal to 0 times anything. So for example, 0 times 5 is equal to 0, 0 times 17 is equal to 0, 0 times Pikachu is equal to 0, I assume. Well, I agree with this part, but I'm not sure if we can go from here to here. Why? Because it looks like we are just multiplying by 0 on both sides to go from here to here. Check this out. When we have 35 divided by 7, of course the answer is equal to 5. Why? Because this is just equal to, no, 35 is just equal to 7 times 5. Done deal. We can multiply 7 on both sides. Well, if you want to multiply zeros on both sides, then let's just YOLO this, right? Let's just look at this equation and then just multiply 0 on both sides like this, and then we get 0 is equal to 0. So, of course, don't do that. We should never multiply zeros on both sides of an equation. Yeah, just, just don't do that, right? So, is this legit? Uh, I don't know, so I'm going to give it like a sad face. I'm not quite sure about that. Um, no, it's a no for me. In fact, I claim, if you ever want to define 0 over 0, then perhaps you should define it as 0. Why? Well, you'll see the following reason, and I'm going to make my claim right now. So I'm going to write it down this way. 0 over 0 should be equal to some number k, but if I want to say the only number that you should have right here is equal to 0, then in that case, I'm going to write this, okay? I'm claiming that 0 over 0 cannot be equal to a number if the number is not equal to 0. Yeah, so some, yeah, pretty kind of, it's kind of like a, a lot of negations, huh? By the way, that's pretty much what I'm saying. 0 over 0, if you want to define it, then we better define to be 0. So that's exactly what I'm saying. And yes, we are going to prove this by contradiction. So I don't know if I should call this to be a proof, but at least a reason. So here is my reason for that, okay? So by contra contradiction, con well, I know how to spell, okay? Contra with a C, diction, okay? Here we go, with an N. Anyway, assume that well, the negation of that, namely we say 0 over 0 is equal to k for k not equal to 0. So that would be an negation. So what we're saying is that if you define 0 to be 0, if you define 0 over 0 to be some non-zero number, such as 0 over 0 to be 2, okay, then these kind of things will happen. Check this out. Notice, we know, of course, 0 times 1 this right here is equal to 0, and we also can say 0 times, what's your favorite number? 17? Okay, thank you. 17, this right here is equal to 0. As we can see, this and that, they are both equal to 0, so of course this and that, they have to be equal. So 0 times 1 is equal to 0 times 17. And now, because we have 0 over 0 is equal to k, we can legitimately divide both sides by 0, and then when we see 0 over 0, well, by our assumption, that's equal to k, so on the left hand side we have k times 1, and then on the right hand side we have k times 17. And now, because we said that k is not equal to 0, and again, just imagine we are saying 0 over 0 is equal to 2, right? So if you have 2 times 1 is equal to 2 times 17, of course you can divide that on both sides, right? So here, we can just divide the k on both sides. Therefore, we can see that, let me actually divide the k on both sides. It's kind of satisfying when we do that. Anyway, this right here, we get 1. Oh my god, 1 is equal to 17. After we divide both sides by k. But of course, this is wrong. So I'll just say, but 
you see that 1 is not equal to 17. Therefore, this right here is the end of the proof because we end up with our contradiction, right? So, as you can see, if you really define 0 over 0 to be a non-zero number, this kind of things will happen. Yeah, I think that's pretty serious, huh? So, in my opinion, this is my conclusion. I believe currently 0 over 0 is not defined. <laughs> but if you ever want to define 0 over 0, right? So I would just say 0 over 0 should be defined it as 0 if you care. Well, I mean, if you ever care. I mean, if you ever want to define it. Why? Because if you say 0 over 0, it's equal to 0. Then just look at here, right? Just look at this. 0 over 0, it's equal to 0. So you get 0 times 1, which is 0. And then right here, you get 0 times 17, which is 0. At least we don't get a contradiction like this. So if you find math interesting, then I think you'll also like Brilliant. Brilliant is one of the best websites for math and science, and I've been a long-term user because of the variety of courses that they have. Currently, they have over 60 interactive courses in math, science, and computer science. These classes are designed to make fun and engaging. I like their logic, algebra, and calculus classes because they often provide me a different point of view so that I can learn something new. And let me tell you, they have beginner level of math courses and also advanced courses such as differential equations and quantum computing. I'm sure you will find something that you like. Plus, if you use the link in the description, brilliant.org slash black and repent, then you can enjoy a 20% off of the annual premium subscription. So go ahead and check them out. And thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. And I think a lot of you guys agree with me on this. Over 0 over 0 is equal to 1, right? And you can also see the screenshot right here. I don't know, maybe if you would like, you should define 0 over 0 to be like the fork symbol, right? Well, anyway, the reason I chose the fork symbol is because uh, I thought it was a less common Greek letter that we use in math, but apparently it's using a, a wave function, so I didn't know about the math major, right? And maybe we can define 0 over 0 to be some other letters that we have never used in math and science. Let me know.